How's it going guys? We are back again. Justin here from Rifle Supply and Mr. Sam over here. Uh, we are at FT3 today over in Stanton. Come shoot here. Great indoor range. Uh, we do all of our indoor stuff here. So the 19C video that I did when this guy was out sick uh, was super popular because um, everybody wanted to hear about the 19C, see how it shot, everything like that. And we're back. The 17Cs we just received the other day. So we have the 17 and we have the 17C. So, same thing as the 19, just a little bit longer. I believe it is 4.01. Yeah, for the 19, 4 it should be 4.01 or 4.02 uh, for the 4 barrel. 4.05. Uh, 4.49, yeah. 4.49 for the 17. So, um, exact same gun, just like the 19, exact same video. Fun fact, Sam has never shot a factory compensated Glock before. No, I've not. You have compensated Glocks of yes. your own that are silver soldered. Correct. Right? Um, you have an agency comp on one of yours? Uh, I used to, I used to have the agency 417 on one of mine, and then I got <coughs> switched over to the Harrington Arms. They're like, basically it was like a Roland special, kind of just uh, made after the KKM uh, kind of design. Have you tried any of the other ones, like the Killer Innovations? They're really I have popular not, comps. They are popular, they're a little too gaudy for me. It's the only reason I haven't, I haven't gotten to them. They're, they're just very- just Aesthetically? Yeah, Okay. I like a more simple design, like the Harrington okay. Arms, just it's super simple, it's a rectangle, got three fucking ports on it and works great. Um, but Killer Innovations does make really nice products as well. Oh, so. I'm wrong. You did shoot the 20C. I did. But you haven't shot a 9mm comp. No. Well, a 9mm factory Glock comp. And I watched so. that 20C video. From comparatively from going like this to just having a flat shooting Even for you. Yeah. Even for, Even for you. me. It, it was, I thought it was night and day difference, but it, it was just one of those things where like, man, I, I would shoot 10 mil all day long at that point. The cool part for me is like, I don't have to get a different holster. I don't have to get an open-ended holster. I yeah. don't have to do anything different. It's the, I, the exact same gun. If I have a 17 and I want to use the 17C for my concealed or out, outside the waistband, I can use everything that is the same, which is, that part's really cool to me. Then there's like been some chatter on like Reddit about how they kind of get, I've seen some shit about how they get caught in holsters or like they have some holsters like catch on them for certain locking points. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know either. I think certain uh, certain holsters have different locking points, but I was reading like random Reddit posts when I was probably like drunk one night, just looking over stuff. And it was like, yeah, they gets caught in a holster. I don't like it. It's why I run a 17, not 17 seat. I'm like, how? Dude, Reddit is cesspool. It's just a bunch of trolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, how do you know that that's not user error? It's 100% user error. You know what I'm error. saying? Like, so, um, yeah, Reddit is its own, Reddit is its own monster. Yes. Um, everybody has plenty of time to talk shit on there. Yep. Um, probably just spend that time training mm -hmm. or running your business, whatever, yeah. whatever works for you. Um, but uh, I do like that. We can do the slide cuts for them so that yep. we can get them optic cut and everything like that. There was a, something else that I wanted to go over. Um, I can't remember what it is right now. Is that how now. the ports sit? Yeah, the, the ports are interesting. So when you guys see these, these ports are further back, right? So the slide is gonna reciprocate and by the time it reciprocates, it should be about in the middle. If they put the ports in the middle of the, if they put the, the barrel ports in the middle of these slide, the slide ports basically, um, it would be at the end, so you might catch some of the slide. I was talking to Sam about it before. It's interesting how they, how they did them further back. I mean, I don't know, here's my thing. Aftermarket is super cool and it may work better mm -hmm. at a certain point, a little bit more front end weight, more gas dissipation, but Glock has been doing this for a really long time mm -hmm. and they QC all that, they R&D all that. So yeah. it should be, oh God, Glock perfection. Mm -hmm. It should be perfect, yeah. exactly right out of the box. Um, so we're gonna shoot it. I have a feeling we're gonna see a major difference between the two. It shouldn't Im improve our shooting that much. No. The other thing we really wanna look at is uh, see if we can find any of the gas. Maybe Raul can do some slow-mo video of, the, of us shooting to see where that gas went. But Raul brought up a really good point on the Tats and Gats podcast is that having ports straight up and down is a lot different than having that V port, yeah. right? Where yeah. my, my line of sight, if it's going this way, it's not affecting it. If it's going straight up, I can see that. Yeah, like you, sh like you shot my 19 with that computer on it and it is a, you have a big gas bubble that comes up or big gas plume that comes up and end out the side, but like it's all in your face. Right. Rather than like kind of being jettisoned out to the side. And the other thing, <clears throat> that's what I want to bring up. We're working on getting a chrono now. So all those people that are talking shit on velocity, um, not the company, the, the projectile yeah. velocity. I believe it's like 50 feet per second. At seven to 20 to 50 yards, the difference, you're still going to, 
kill whatever you're shooting yeah. at. Like, it's so negligible that if you guys are saying, I'm not gonna run a C because I'm losing that much velocity, if the ports were further back, you're losing dwell time, okay? The ports are so far forward, you're losing this much dwell time here on that gas pushing it forward. It's minimal. The argument, minimal, minimal. Funny that the, the argument about like, bullet velocity when it comes to a, to a standard civilian use firearm, I, I would go as far to say that you're arguing for fucking nothing. Like, yeah. like <laughs> realistically, maybe- I'm not engaging at 80 yards no. where it's really and gonna be losing velocity at a, that point. A 1% <laughs> of people in the world will ever use their firearm in a defense scenario. Correct, I hope right? I never have to. And realistically, you're not going to give a shit what the bullet velocity is. Because I'm not going to be aiming for the plate carrier that the dude's running at me with and just trying to shoot him in the fucking face. Right. right. It's just how it works. Like, it, it, like yeah. get over the fucking bullet velocity. When it comes to rifle calibers, if you're a hunter, if you're a long distance shooter, 100% there's validity to your statement if you just totally. like shooting long distance. Totally. If you're carrying a fucking 17, get over the, the extra 10 feet per second. Or you can use a slightly lighter projectile, have it go faster and make up for it. Yeah. Like there, there's different things, but the main point about the comp is if I can put five rounds into this amount of area and everybody knows I'm not a huge fan, you don't need to put them in this amount of area, but if, you, if I can, it's gonna be better than here and your five rounds with 50 more feet per second. Yeah. Right, yeah, just, so that, that's the deal is staying on target, site acquisition, you almost don't even have to reacquire the site, it's there. Um, and that's just kind of our take on it. Once again, guys can talk shit, this is, uh, the guys from RKB were laughing because when I said, this is like, uh, we're gonna call this, we're gonna post stuff for your knowledge and information and then you're gonna talk shit on us. That should be the names <laughs> yeah. of the videos. Yeah. Um, you know, but everybody has actually been super cool in the comments, which I'm stoked on. Um, I still don't read like, them. Oh, I, you don't? No, I get too um, angry. I, I, just, I say I'm not going to and then I do. <laughs> yeah, I um, everybody's been pretty constructive and stuff and we try and answer as many of the questions on there as possible. Um, but let's just work together because we're all trying to find out more about the guns, use the guns better, everything like that. And that's why we're here is to show you guys different stuff. So yeah. fuck our talking. Let's yeah, shoot it. Let's do it. Since you never, I'm well, you, shoot. You, you've never shot a 17 before? I've shot a 17. It was a joke. <laughs> Are you gonna go first? Yeah, I'll throw some rounds into the team. See how you, see how you do? Probably bad. Don't tell us where you're shooting because then we can't talk shit. I'm shooting at the dirt. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay, so it works like a Glock 17, doesn't it? Shucker. Okay, that's cool. Shucker, that works. This is just our weekly range time, which is kind of nice. Yeah. I love these videos because I get to shoot every week. <laughs> uh, give me Wouldn't one have it Clear. Ha, oh, no press check. Don't People talking shit on my press checking. Like, I don't understand that point. Like, for me, it's just muscle memory. If I load a magazine in, I press check to make sure that I'm good. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a conversation like too. Like, if, if my gun comes out of my holster, even if I'm fiddling with it, I'm gonna press check when it goes back into my holster because I want to make sure it's still fucking around in there. Make sure it's hot. Yeah, it's very I'm carrying the gun. Yeah, whatever, dude. It is what it is. such a weird time with these 17 sometimes <laughs> with that Glock hump in the back it's just not my preference all right 17 C do you want to do any slow-mo video of him shooting hold on I'll do it please hold because we have slow-mo on our phones now yeah I'm gonna stand right behind you okay go ahead What'd you think? Big difference or no? So weird. I gotta shoot him again. Okay, well let me go. Yeah, well I'm not gonna do it right now, but here. That was... Hmm. 
what? It was nice enough to make me want to buy one, and I own 17s already. <laughs> oh, so is that good? Yeah. You're not pondering negative? No, God, no. But I want to I uh, try the 17 and the 17C again side by side. Just really, like right next to each other? Pretty much, really, for the difference. I want you to kind of do the same, see how I like it. There's a okay. visible fireball for sure. Is there? Yeah. Oh, really? All right, we're back at the 17. I got some slow-mo of them. Uh, yeah. Wait. So what are you at? Uh, this, this is the 17, the regular 17. Okay, okay, okay. Here. Go ahead. Okay. There is absolutely no recoil at all. Okay, I need to shoot them side by side again. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video. And I typically don't have a problem with recoil, but no recoil. At a certain point, you're taking out all the all the shit that makes shooting not fun, and you're like, oh, now I just go hardcore on it. I'll trade you. Okay, maybe I'm having an off day, but I don't notice as big a difference as I did with the 19. It's almost negligible to me. I don't feel a difference. I could be having a super off day shooting, or I was up late last night, maybe I'm tired. I don't notice that big of a difference, dude. The 19, it was a big difference for me. Bro. Vi visibly, I think there's Mario. a difference, but I, 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 it's not that big of a deal. I can see it in your hands, though. It is it didn't make a difference. For sure, but, but it's different with felt. Wait, how, how can you see it in his hands? Yeah, I can see his the rise. Mm -hmm. When he's shooting the 17C, there's no rise. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's like, for my feeling, I don't feel that much different. It's fucking weird, dude. The, you got, you the guys 19 obviously, was like automatic for You guys me. obviously know Raul, so he's gonna throw some rounds on a 17 real quick. We're gonna, this is our tiebreaker right here. We're gonna see how it goes. It's weird. Okay, take that, trade you. Speaking of the mic, so they can hear you. I don't know if I could be tripping if the sights are off, maybe. So that I'm I'm weird. I, I'm shooting the exact same spot on all of them too. So so could you really feel it versus see it? Uh, all right. So I will admit, like, yeah, I, in the 19 we felt a huge difference. Big difference. Night and day. This one is like uh, slightly right, but not like wow. Yes, because it's a heavier gun. Mm. It's a heavier, bigger gun anyway. Thanks, Rob. Uh, yeah, it's a heavier, bigger gun anyway that is, it just, it weighs more. It, it just runs differently, right? So that, that was it. I felt a difference, but it was minimal for me. It's like on the smaller guns that are snappier, the ones that you, 
that you preferably don't shoot, yeah. shoot when you comp those, it takes a ton of the snappiness out. With, it's almost like, let's not go DE with a huge caliber. DE, a Desert Eagle, a 357. Comped, not comped. It's such a heavy gun. Are you it really, really wouldn't gonna, matter. Like on a 1911, yes, I think you may feel it. I don't know, because there's a bigger powder charge, right? This isn't a huge, super big powder charge, not a really big projectile, not very heavy. Um, it's interesting. Go shoot them, guys. Hopefully, FT3 will have them here. Um, I'm, 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 the 19 is hands down, uh, go buy a 19C. I'm all for it. As long as it's not your first gun, that's my only thing. Um, don't get used to shooting. Just like we gave Chris, I love him. Uh, we've given him a bunch of crap because he modified his first gun. Yeah, right, right because, out of the box pretty much. And so that's, that's what, Raul did the same thing too, but like, you just want to make sure that you're comfortable shooting at stock. Yeah. Am I great shooting Glock stock? No. I always, for some reason, I have a tough time with that angle kick out, mm -hmm. right? And I always end up overcompensating that sight and I always shoot them a little bit low versus pushing out. It's just, yeah. it's preference um, and things like that, you know, but just get used to shooting it regular. Um, yeah, see, I, I, I never, I never have a problem with Glocks. I've I always, I just, I just been, it's where I, what I learned on. Yeah. Um, so like, it's all personal. Yeah, Glocks you know? for me just kind of, I just feel at home behind a Glock. Um, super comfortable, very, very little things I have to do to the fire to actually make it work the way I want it to. Um, but having shot the 17 a shitload and having owned, and owning a couple currently to the 17C, I notice a huge difference. Okay. But well, maybe that's it. It's also different too, because like this is not a big gun to me. Right. Right. This is a this is a regular size firearm. Like a big gun to me is a Desert Eagle. It's a big fucking gun. To you guys, this is a bigger firearm. It's a bigger. It's a bigger yeah. This is like a 19 to you. <laughs> yeah. Close. But right? yeah. Yeah. Y you know. It's, it's mean. a it's a regular size gun for me. So like I can get real fucking behind it. I have absolutely no area that I have to get more purchase on. Like right. it's, it's just perfect. Right. And with a 17C, I notice like instantly when i got on there my sights didn't move i could just go straight back and forth interesting interesting so well there's our take on it <clears throat> we have a cut we have it split you do feel a difference for me uh but it wasn't as big as your smaller um model your smaller format pistols that are compensated and that does make sense too though you know being, right. being that you're you're gonna feel a bigger difference with a snapper yeah for sure right right so that's kind of where that's kind of where i was at but hopefully this helps you guys out we do have them in stock raul are we out did we sell out quick or do we uh, still have some? Okay, we still have some 17 Cs. Um, get them before the sin tax, before the excise tax, before the 30th, you can come in and buy them. Uh, pay no excise tax on it. And uh, Mr. Hot Dogger guy, do you have anything else? No, no, uh, oh yeah. We're, Ask we'll me be, about my wiener. Yeah, uh, this, this won't, won't matter, but I'm, I'm excited to see you guys because I'll be in my hot dog outfit doing something on one of these days Whoa. for July 1st or 4th or 2nd or whatever the hell day it is. He's a wiener, but he's I'm, actually going to be a wiener. Yeah, we, I, I, I accidentally, uh, during the, that shoot, I accidentally flashed our camera guy, one of my uh, uh, ne uh, nether regions. I won't, <laughs> I won't call it what it was, but something came out and then he, Poor uh, he was upset about it. Poor Nicky. It's okay. He's scarred for life. I know. Yeah, whatever. Um, all right, guys. Hope this helped you guys out. Um, go shoot. Go try them out. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.